Okay, so coronavirus is a judgment. Uh, I haven't really heard a whole lot of people talk about this. Actually, I don't know if I've heard anybody talk about this. Pretty much everybody that talks about corona says, you know, it's just something that happened or God let it happen or, um, you know, the devil brought it or all this stuff. To me, clearly, this whole time, you know, this has been a judgment from God. That's what I've felt basically since day one. But um, before I really get into all that, I want to kind of rewind. So I don't believe I ever mentioned this in, in my older videos that I did, you know, like three years ago. But um, in 2017, I started to feel strongly that a major judgment was coming specifically in October of 2019. So I don't remember how this came up. I believe I just kind of saw the state of the world and saw how things were going. And I prayed and asked God when, when something was coming or when things were going to happen. Or it was something to that effect. And specifically, October of 2019 was what came through. And this was, again, at some point in 2017. So in 2018, I had talked about this with my, at the time, my girlfriend Giselle, who was sort of a Roman Catholic. I mean, that's a long story, but um, suffice it to say, she wasn't really that interested. She didn't know what to make of it. But I, again, not only did I talk to her about a judgment was coming, I said specifically October of 2019. So in 2018, uh, around April or in April, I moved to the Big Island from Southern California, ended up meeting this guy, Tom, at church, and we became close friends. And, uh, you know, Tom and I are still, friend, still close friends. But um, in 2018, when we started to really hang out and talk about a lot of different things, I told him what I'm telling you now. I said, Tom, I, go, I got this, you know, feeling from the Holy Spirit that something major is coming in October of 2019. Like basically some kind of big judgment comes in October of 2019. He took it seriously. He didn't know what to say about it. What would it be? Because I had no idea. Is it going to be war? Is it going to be financial collapse? Is it going to be famine? I really just had no idea. So in September of, um, of 2019... I talked to my mom about it, right? And I waited so long because my mom is not a Christian and I didn't want to get too Christian on her. I mean, she knew she knew what my beliefs were and she knew I was a Christian and she knew my, my basic testimony. But, you know, I just didn't think she'd be very receptive to that kind of stuff. And she'd just think this is like typical Christian, you know, the sky is falling, the rapture's coming soon. Like, I just didn't want to go there. But in September of 2019, you know, I still felt strongly something was coming, specifically October of, 20, of 2019. And so I called my mom and I said, Mom, I go, look, I have had this feeling for two years that something big is coming in October of 2019. And I don't know what it is. I don't know, you know, is it going to be an earthquake? Is it going to be a war? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? I don't know, but I just would rather, I'd rather tell you something and you think I'm crazy than I tell you nothing and, you know, you end up in a bad position because I didn't tell you anything. So just buy some water, have some cash on hand, buy some, you know, canned goods or whatever and... Um, just be ready because I feel strongly like something is coming in October. So October came and went and nothing happened. No earthquake, no war, no this, no that. And on <laughs> November 1st, I was like, God, I'm like, what happened? You know, you've been putting this date on me for two years and October came and went. What's the deal? And so what I felt in that moment was you'll see or like, Something had started, but you couldn't see it yet. That was just the overall feeling that came through. And I said, okay, fine. Something has started, but I can't see it yet. So all this COVID stuff started to really take off. I think December, January is when it started to become a hot news topic. Um, March is when it started to become a big deal here in, uh, here in Maui. 
March is when all the stores started to shut down and a lot of the restaurants shut down and all of that. And it wasn't until maybe a week after we shut down at the store that I worked at that I was just sitting around one day and I was like, <clears throat> I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, when did coronavirus actually start? So I did some research and the first, I think the first documented case was in November. But the actual origins of the virus, like I don't know how scientists dissect a virus to figure out like how old it is. I think it has to do with particular points of mutation or something like that. I don't know exactly how they determine it. But whatever the genetic researchers are that research that type of stuff, the etymology of, um, of viruses, they had concluded that it started in October of 2019. So when I read that, I'm like, oh, I'm like, this is that. Like, this is the judgment. This is the judgment I had been thinking of for two years. And this is the judgment that God said had started in October, but that I, I just couldn't see it yet. I couldn't see what had begun. So I have had no doubts this whole time that this is a judgment from God. And even too, just as something kind of interesting to throw into the mix, the virus is literally called the coronavirus. Well, what does corona mean? Corona means crown. So it's the crown virus. And then two, what do they call those little uh, nubs that come off, uh, come off on the uh, perimeter of the virus? They call those spikes. Like the virus, they code for the spike protein, and those are called the spikes on the coronavirus. So you literally have the virus wearing a crown of spikes, right? Can you think of somebody famous from the past who wore a, a spiked crown or a thorned crown? So like I said, you know, that, that's not what all of this is based upon, but that is kind of an interesting thing to throw into the mix. So long story short, this virus is a judgment from God and it's wearing a crown of thorns, okay? So what's my point, okay? Let's start getting to the point of all of this. When God brings a judgment, which he has, God expects a reaction, okay? So God, let's, let's look at what coronavirus did. Coronavirus took away the clubs, took away the bars, took away pride, took away vanity. Everywhere you go, you got to wear this mask, right? It took away pride, it took away vanity, took away the movies, it took away the sporting events, took away the Olympics. I mean, I don't know if the Olympics has ever been taken away before, but it took away the Olympics. Everything, excuse me, that the world puts on a pedestal was gone. Took away concerts, took away, I mean, you just name it, it took away everything. So everything that people love and people put on a pedestal, it all got knocked down, right? And the whole world got put on notice and the whole world got put to a large degree at a standstill and the whole world came under this judgment. Now you say, well, why is the whole world being judged? I mean, I could do a whole separate video about that, but just look around. I mean, everything that God doesn't like is prevalent. I mean, literally, like everything that comes up in the Bible as being a bad thing or a problem is just rampant. I mean, you got, take your pick. You got rampant divorce, rampant abortion, rampant promiscuity. Everybody drinks. Everybody smokes. People are doing all kinds of pills. People are, you know, doing all kinds of, you name it, all kinds of, um, all kinds of hallucinogenic drugs. You got people doing crystal meth. You got the rise of the tattoo culture. You got the rise of the new age. You got the rise of Eastern mysticism. I mean, all the stuff that, that God is just not a fan of as, you know, as discussed throughout the thousands of pages in the Old Testament is all like rampant. And so as you can see in the Old Testament, I mean, God, God has kind of a Popeye quality where he stands all he can stand till he can't stand no more. And so he let this stuff build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. And then in comes the judgment, which is what we're in now and what we've kind of been in for the past year. 
So as all this COVID stuff is sort of being retracted, a lot of states, you don't have to wear a mask. A lot of states are reducing social distancing. Bars are reopening. Movie theaters are reopening. I mean, everything is kind of going back to normal. What God is looking for is repentance. What God is looking for is for people to have learned a lesson, for people to repent, for people to come towards God, for people to, you know, embark on a new born again life. I mean, that's that's what he wants. That's what he's looking for. And I do think in these next coming few months, there's going to be a revival or at least somewhat of a revival but there's also going to be a lot of people who are going to double down on their worldview and whatever they were doing before COVID, they're going to go back to it. Or even more so than going back to it, they're going to double down on it. They're going to go hard, harder into this, harder into that, harder into the dating scene, harder into drugs, you know, harder into drinking, harder into all of this stuff. And so I absolutely believe what's coming is something much worse. Because if God gets what he's looking for, then it's all good. Like if you look at the book of Jonah, the Ninevites had 40 days to repent. And they basically, well, they had 40 days until judgment was going to come. But they put on sackcloth, but they fasted, but they repented, but they turned from their wicked ways. And so the judgment that God was bringing, he didn't bring it. He took his hand of judgment and and he basically retracted it because he got the response he was looking for. So within the world, if God was to get the response that he's looking for, then everything would be all good. Everything would be fine. There'd be no problems. I mean, there's still just normal life problems. But as far as some some big looming judgment, that would be retracted. But because the world, to a large degree, is just going to go back to doing all the same sort of stuff it was doing uh, before the virus... There's something much worse coming, and I have felt this the whole time. I have felt this since March of last year, that there was another, <clears throat> excuse me, another judgment coming after the coronavirus. Now, some people I know think it could be war. I mean, we've already got like the war in uh, the Israel Israeli war that's going on now, but it could be a bigger war, world war, could be a famine, could be, you know, economic collapse. I mean, there's so many things that it could be. But what I'm feeling at this point is that it's going to be augmented coronavirus. So I had talked about this in some of the previous videos of the, um, the potential problem with respect to the vaccine, that even though it, it does protect you against the current incarnation of the coronavirus, it very, narrow, it very strongly yet very, can't talk, it very strongly yet very narrowly protects you. So you are strongly protected against the current incarnation of the coronavirus. But if it sufficiently uh, changes and adapts so as to be able to bypass the response that the vaccine induces, you don't have a secondary response. Like your, your immune system is programmed with a very particular but very narrow response And so if that response doesn't work, then you don't have a secondary response just waiting in the background because that's just not how it works. That's not how your immune system works once it's been programmed to respond to a virus in a particular way. So what I'm seeing at this point is there's definitely, if the world does, if God does not get what he's looking for from the world, if God does not get repentance, if people, if God does not get people lukewarm Christians, you know, coming back to being strong Christians, if God does not get non Christians coming to, you know, coming to him, coming to Christ and being Christians, then there's absolutely something much worse coming than what we've had to endure this past year. And uh, whatever it is, it's going to be. It's going to be a lot worse. It's going to be like the real judgment. Because as as bad as coronavirus has been and as prevalent as it has been, it really has not been that big of a deal. Like, I don't see businesses closing left and right. I don't see people losing their houses left and right. I don't see people dying left and right. I don't see really anything huge happening that's deep 
You know what I mean? It's deep to lose your house. It's deep. It's deep to lose your whole family. It's deep to lose whatever, all of your income or, you know, you end up on the street, all this type of stuff. I don't really see that stuff happening with any sort of, you know, big time prevalence or what have you. So even though it's been a big deal, it's been a huge deal, but it's been sort of a superficially huge deal. It hasn't really destroyed people's lives, right? So if God doesn't get what he's looking for, the next thing is going to be like the judgment. Like you, you can't escape this judgment. Like lots of big bad things will happen if this second judgment comes, which I think it will. So like I said, as far as exactly what it is, I don't know if I'm prepared to say, but just based on what God has been putting on me, based on uh, things he's been having me research, based on conversations he's been having me have with people, I would have to say that the things that I said in the two previous videos about coronavirus are going to come to pass, that half the population or something will be vaccinated, a vaccine resistant version of the virus will come forth, and then the people who are vaccinated will be the ones who are particularly vulnerable, and then we'll start seeing big time deaths, like big time. Because right now, I think something like 3 million people have died from coronavirus. I mean, A, those numbers are inflated because a lot of these people died of something else, but they said it was coronavirus. Like the people died of congestive heart failure, but they also had coronavirus. So rather than say that they died of congestive heart failure, they say they died of coronavirus. So there's a lot of that type of stuff that causes these numbers to be inflated. But even if they weren't, even if these numbers are 100% completely accurate, that 3 million people have died from coronavirus, well, when you start looking at the population of the world, which is something like 7 billion, I mean, that's like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent. I mean, not trying to say that these deaths don't matter, but at the end of the day, it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent. It's, it's a very small number given, given how big the population of the world is. So I say all of this to say as, as things are getting repealed, as people, as you know, mask regulations are getting repealed, as restaurants are opening up, as everything is seemingly going back to normal, don't get comfortable. Don't get complacent. Don't start thinking all the bad stuff's done. We can just go back to how it was before because <clears throat> I know Regardless of it, if a second corona judgment is coming or, or if it's something else, regardless of what it actually is, you're going to want to get close to God. You're going to want to get right with God. If you got stuff you need to repent of, now's the time to do it. You want to be able to hear from God. You want to be able to have just wisdom and clarity on exactly what to do because <clears throat> I know that something big and worse is coming, and it is not that far off. You know, if you want my my prophecy at this point, I'm saying quarter four of this year or quarter one of next year. That's just the time frame that I'm feeling in my spirit at this point. So long video, heavy video, lot to process, but I uh, just felt like God wanted me to put this out there. <clears throat> so uh, thanks for listening. Love you all. Aloha. God bless.